my hair. Hello, YouTube family. It is a new day and yet another day for the 12 discs of Christmas. There may or may not be a new artifact on or in my collectible wall behind me. And that's all I'm going to say. Uh, I recommended this to uh, Mind Your Horror for his Halloween uh, marathon of sorts where he commented on a movie a day, uh, which is quite admirable. I can't do it. Uh, Lady in White is a great film, not so much a horror film, but um, a ghost story. Kind of a neat... In interior, as well as Catherine Helmond, I believe that's her name here, as the Lady in White on the back. I thought this was a very eerie movie. I kind of forgot that it had some very adult themes. The director, however, didn't make many more films beyond this one. Next up, Scream 2. This, I think, was a decent follow-up to the original film. And I kind of felt like the villain or villain... Well, I don't want to give too much away, but I'm sure many people have seen this. However, the killer, who's unmasked in the end, eh, kind of cool, I guess. But this came out rather readily in uh, 1997, because Scream came out in 1996, so they threw this movie together fast on the heels of that release because it was such a popular... Oops. Here's a disc for you. It was such a popular film. Next up, we're kind of going out of the horror foray. Say that five times fast. Horror foray. <laughs> we're going into something a little more uh, adult themed. Uh, Boogie Nights. Great cover or illustration on the front here. Mark Wahlberg, of course, uh, portrays a an adult star. This is also a gatefold or uh, two-sided cover. Here's the interior. Here it says it's directed by Paul Thomas Anderson. This is a lengthy film and it kind of talks about or demonstrates the adult entertainment scene in the late 70s to the early 80s. Um, also, this character here on the bottom, I guess that's my right, your left, I'm not sure. Or my left, your right. He, um, that is, uh, oh shoot, now his name escapes me. It is Phil Philip Seymour Hoffman. I, for some reason, that didn't sound right to me. Great actor, I just saw a retrospective of him on television, and unfortunately he has left us. Following that, we go from film to television, and I have two ep no, excuse me, four episodes of uh, Star Trek The Next Generation, which I think is a very good series next to the original one that came out in the late 60s. Star Trek Next Generation... Uh, I think it's the best of all the ensuing Star Trek series. I'm sure others would disagree with me, but I think this has the strongest fan following. Of course, uh, Jean-Luc Jean Picard. Uh, these are just the first few episodes I committed, or I had a goal of owning all of them on Laserdisc, but the collection would be so extensive and crazy and costly that I never did it. I didn't boldly go where no man had gone before. This box is coming apart here. Um, this is Joan. This, again, is the second time I've mentioned her to you during this series. Several discs in here. Actually, quite a few. And I'll give you a rundown of some of the uh, films in here. In fact, why don't I just tell you about The Ice Follies of 1939. If you're a fan of the film Mommy Dearest, where Faye Dunaway plays Joan Crawford, the very opening scene is her getting ready to go shoot uh, a scene from 
Ice Follies of 1939. There's a bit of nostalgia for you. Oh, and as a bonus, because I'm feeling generous today, and it is the holiday season, here's an actual LP. I have a million of them. This one is uh, the small one, which I think came out with the release of The Rescuers in the late 70s. I kind of have a memory of seeing this with my dad. And this was kind of a short, although it's kind of a longer animated short, that appeared before The Rescuers. At least that's my memory. Um, there's a book, story, illustrations. The small one is the donkey. The donkey in this is uh, supposed to have carried Mary to the inn. And there's a depiction of Joseph here. Kind of uncharted territory for Disney, and I don't even know if this is even available on DVD, Blu-ray, or otherwise. But here's a nice LP I got uh, when it came out in the late 70s. Did you find the new artifact on my collectible wall? If you did, let me know in the comments below. And my aunt is disqualified because it was her idea, so she can't give it away.